But as I previously stated, your girl is head honcho of the Saggy Titty Committee. afternoon good day to you wherever in the world you are my name is Meech and if you are new to my channel welcome otherwise welcome back today is really exciting today I have acquired myself some adidas that after me wants to say adidas but I have acquired some adidas x ivy park and I will be doing a try on haul it is my first try on haul so I hope you guys like it I've got lots and lots and lots of pieces and tried them all on for you guys and yeah it was really exciting um but before I get all into that I just wanted to quickly 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 talk about my actual buying experience with adidas I saw Beyonce's post on Instagram like just her little ad in all four colors of the new line and I was like okay I actually really like these colors I'm just gonna have a peek if I like it I'll cop something but I wasn't like dead set on it even though I consider myself part of the beehive I was like I don't know if I'm gonna spend money on it I don't know I'll have to see what the collection has like on the day so yeah I jumped on there at 10 a.m was going through and oh my god I loved absolutely everything there was not one thing on there that I didn't like like not necessarily like for me but just the collection like I just loved everything on there and I was like okay literally I had so much stuff in my bag I was like okay I'm about to spend all this money in fact Beyonce just take all my money just take it today today and now just take my money because everything on there looked absolutely amazing the color palette was so nice and I was just like okay yeah I'm about to spend some bags I'm about to blow a bag and so when it came to time to check out pressing the checkout button it's not going through pressing the checkout button it's not going through pressing the checkout button it's not going through press it again press it again press it again press it again then eventually it was like I'm looking at my bank account statement and I'm seeing like all these pre-authorizations on my card so I've even called my bank and I said have you blocked my card they're like no we've authorized every adidas transaction that you have going through so if it's not going through on on your end it's something to do with the site so I said okay jump back on the site pressed it again and it says to me can't use this card try another card so I'm like well I definitely have money long story short I just left it I was like it's not meant to be whatever gave up hope yeah so I sat back and I was like I didn't get it 10 minutes later I get an email saying we've received your order each time I tried it, it told me this is sold out you need to put a different size this is sold out you need to try a different size so I didn't even know what order had gone through turns out it wasn't exactly the order that I had put in last but it was one of the orders I thought to myself I'm just gonna try on whatever I like I like whatever I don't I can always return if it doesn't fit I'll exchange it um, so yeah I'll show you what I ended up getting I got quite a few pieces I got everything I got something from each color set but I was really really in love with the Degrassi and the honey those are my two faves but I got a bit of something from every color palette anyway so let's get into it I wanted to try everything kind of together and just see how it would mesh well so I'm going to talk through each item but I might be wearing like three or four pieces in each clip so the first thing I got was the cargo pants which I got these in a large now don't ask me why I got a large so she had a lot of gender neutral pieces and with the gender neutral pieces it was like oh your sizing might not be the same so like have a look at the general sizing so I thought okay I just to give you an idea of my body and my size I am when I'm on my thicker side which I am right now I'm more towards a 12 14 if I'm on the slimmer side and I've been working out usually around summer I'm more of a 10 12 so right now I am a 12 slash 14 and my hips are roughly about I want to say they're about 42 40 42 something like that my waist is about 28 29 so I thought to myself, okay, the large is gonna fit me. It will still be like a baggy look. So I grabbed that. One thing I really liked is the material. Cause it said cargo pants. I thought it was gonna be like a cargo material, but it's only cargo in style. So it's like a very thick tracksuit bottom or 
sweatpants material and it's just got lots and lots of pockets. I don't know why it had buttons on the knee, but it had buttons like around the knee here. I don't know if you can see that. And then buttons on the other leg. But listen, we love ventilation, especially if you're wearing this like in the summer months and it's a little bit hot. Um, you might just want to get a little bit of ventilation, a bit of ventilation because this is a very, very thick material. But I just loved how much pockets, I loved how many pockets it had. I just wish I didn't get a large. It had a drawstring, so it did fit me like to put the drawstring on, but I just felt like a, I felt like a potato, like not even a baked potato. I felt like a, a jacket potato, heavy on the jacket. So I did actually end up exchanging it for a small. If you wanna see how the small looks on me, you'll have to follow me on Instagram because I will be wearing it very, very soon. Um, I feel like this weather kind of calls for thicker, heavy materials. Not that I can really go out anywhere, but hopefully when lockdown lifts in December or lockdown 2.0 lifts in December, I can wear this out. So I'd say, whatever size you are, cause I would have been a medium. So I went down on a small, so I'd say size down for this. Don't get your actual size. I got the large to be a baggy fit, but medium would have probably been my actual size. And then a small just fits me really nicely. So yeah, size down on the cargo pants. I paired the cargo pants with the hooded shrug really 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 loved this like this was probably one of my favorite pieces like definitely top three i was just in love with the honey collection in general so yeah the honey i really hope i haven't been bashing my mic i'm sorry if i have um <laughs> that sounds crazy bashing my mic i really hope i haven't been like rubbing against my mic as i've been talking just now hopefully not i will find out in post-production but um yeah i really loved the hooded shrug it was probably my favorite in the collection the only thing i didn't like is because i am head honcho of the saggy to eat committee um my boobs were like basically coming out of the bottom and i'm sure when i looked back on the website of beyonce kind of wearing this she had a sports bra like one of the canary sports bras underneath um which kind of showed but to me i like crop tops in general i wouldn't want to have to wear this with a top underneath yeah it just didn't fit the way i wanted it to fit but again a really really thick material i loved that it was long at the back and that the hood was massive especially for us thick haired girls um i feel like it would fit over us really nice so yeah, I got that in a, I got the hooded shrug in a medium, which was like a size 14, um, 12, 14 or whatever. Um, and I just, yeah, I just didn't really like how it fitted me. So it's a no from me. The next thing I got was the gender neutral honey hoodie. Absolutely loved this. Like when I was buying it, it was an afterthought, but I absolutely love this. Anyone who knows me knows my style is very androgynous. My style is very boyish. It's very comfortable. It's very relaxed. So the fact that I could pull this off and wear this as a dress, fantastic. The band on the bottom um, holds my hips snug. So it literally wouldn't rise up against like my hips and like give me a fashion faux pas and show my crack. So yeah, loved this hoodie. Love how big the hood was. Just wish it had like kangaroo pockets, you know, like the pockets where you can kind of tuck your hands in um, near your stomach. I wish it had those. However, one thing I did notice is, um, and it's on the crew neck as well. I'll show you on the crew neck. It has this bit here just on the breast and I think you can cut it and it opens as a pocket. Like I think you can cut the stitch in. Don't quote me and start cutting your stitch in because I will not be held liable. But it does have like an inner bit so I feel like that is a pocket and you can cut it open. But overall love this hoodie. Paired that with the bucket hat which, listen, my dumb ass didn't know that the bucket hats were reversible. So yeah, this is the bucket hat. 
that I'm sure it's on the clip but this is the bucket hat and it is reversible with the canary on the inside um, I loved it both ways funnily enough I actually like these colors together like I really like that Ivy Park was in the canary color as well um, yeah I really liked it the only thing I will say is I got a big head I got a full head of locks it comes in one size and it fit perfectly but I feel like if you've got a bigger head than me not that we can compare head sizes on here but if you do have a bigger head than me then yeah this might not fit you but I absolutely loved it love both colors love that it's got the ivy park across the top on the honey side and then on the canary side it just has the little kind of stitch detailing on the inside um again it's a nice material um just love it I actually really really liked the bucket hat really liked it paired with the hoodie yeah I loved it just got heavily disrespected by my battery <laughs> but we back we back we back the next thing I got was the crew neck in the azure color. I got this originally with my brother in mind. I got it in a medium because he, he's about 6'1". Um, he tends to wear medium in most clothes and I thought, ah, it said if you're a man and you're getting this, get um, your actual size. But I got it with him in mind just in case I didn't like it because I'm not really a fan of blue. Like I said, I, I don't really like pastel colors. So um, I thought to myself, if I don't like it, he can take it. But when he put the medium on, it was massive. So he has gone and copped a small, so we will be returning this. But in terms of how it looked on me, I actually don't mind how it looked. Paired with the Degrassi, it actually looked really nice. Again, it has that thing, which I think is a pocket that you can cut. I uh, hope you can see it on cam, just here it's a bit thicker so i think you can cut that open as a pocket different to the hoodie one thing it didn't have was the band at the bottom it just kind of is free flowing at the bottom kind of like a sports jersey or a um, football shirt um so in terms of like wearing it definitely i couldn't wear it as a dress like i could with the honey hoodie which again i don't mind like paired with a pair of jeans very cozy really nice for the winter again it's a very very thick material um but i really liked how it looked in general um even though i don't like blue i actually really liked this um, but my brother liked it more so he will be taking it on from me and to be honest, I spent enough money on myself. Sometimes we gotta treat the fam, okay? Okay, so yeah, this one is a, yeah, I actually really liked it, funnily enough. I would say, I don't know how it appears on camera. I feel like it was more of like a minty blue, azure, whatever. Kind of like, um, you know when you look at the ocean, the bits that have um, the sand and the ground underneath them always look a bit more green it's that kind of color to pair with that i got the bucket hat again did not realize that these bucket hats were reversible so i'm actually upset because my brother wanted the bucket hat and i really like the green on the bucket hat but obviously the blue goes with the um with the crew neck so he will be taking on this bucket hat otherwise really really love this bucket hat love it in the green the green side is like the honey where it has the ivy park all um across the front and the back and then the azure is the stitching on the front the next piece i got was the corset crop top oh loved this it had the inside padding like a bra on the inside but as I previously stated, your girl is head honcho of the Saggy Titty Committee and I don't know if you can tell by the clip but on the shoulders it was pulling a lot. Um, I guess it was just me kind of like trying to scoop my breast inside the actual bra and then it was kind of like just pulling down on my shoulders. Um, so it just felt like a really, really uncomfortable fit around the shoulders. The only thing I wish this came in like a plus size but then I don't know if I would even fit a plus size because I just felt like it fit me. I wouldn't want to go up another size 
because I feel like then it wouldn't provide enough support. But if you're somebody who has like just regular, I say regular, like my boobs are irregular, but if you're somebody who has um, maybe like C cup, D cup, not really like a big, big chested girl this will probably look really good on you it's not visible in the clip that's one thing i did realize it's not actually visible but i did have you know because you have the double boob you have the boob at the top and the boob at the bottom i had a bit of that going on so yeah but i love i really 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 liked how it fit like the back with the mesh and the ivy part on the back i really 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 loved this corset crop and the material is like um Reminds me of like a swimming costume, but it was just very sweat wicking, I could tell. Um, so definitely a good wear for the gym. Um, I feel like it did support the boobs, like the mesh part, I just feel like it was very supportive. So if you were to wear this to the gym, it would be a good choice. It would be a practical choice. Um, and again, love the Degrassi um, color. So everything in the green was chef's kiss. The I paired the corset crop with the shorts, oh my god, I love the shorts. I loved the shorts. They were my favorite. This was top two and it wasn't number two, feel me? Love the thick band. I know this was in the first drop and people were talking about like the V, but I felt like it was super flattering, like in terms of like if you got hip dips or you just got like wider hips to waist ratio. I feel like it's very flattering. It was comfortable. Again, it's in that same material with the mesh sides. It's in the same material, so it is sweat wicking. It is very practical if you're wearing it in the gym as well. No complaints, and you shall be seeing me wearing this in the gym. I also paired that corset crop with the leggings, and these were the mesh uh side leggings here again these were like practical good for the gym i had two gripes and to be fair one of them i knew before i bought it but i just felt like once i kind of took it off i was like so my first gripe was the price these were 70 pounds i can't remember if i said previously but i got the corset crop in a medium i got the shorts in a medium as well i got the leggings in a medium they fit well. I just felt like, yeah, they were just too expensive. For 70 pounds for a pair of leggings. Of course, like I said, I knew that before I purchased them, but when I took them off, I was like, I am too cheap to spend 70 pounds on leggings. Plus, I don't even wear Adidas like that. So I was like, I'm keeping the shorts. I've got to get rid of the leggings. Um, only other thing was the bottom where the ankles are this was like really really tight to get my foot through this I'm a size UK 7 which is like a US 9 and to get that through this was like it wasn't difficult but it just felt like more effort than it should be um, it's a very small gripe I feel like I'm just nitpicking but yeah 70 pounds on these I don't know if I feel like it's worth it, but they are really good leggings. They're practical. If you want to wear them to the gym, again, moisture wicking, um, comfortable. They have a pocket on the, um, the mesh side, which you could probably stick. I want to say you could stick your keys. You could stick a very small phone in there. Um, yeah. I'm always a fan of pockets on leggings. So I feel like that was a really, really good idea. That was a good design. To go with that, I got the night jogger trainers slash sneakers um, in this neon yellow, which is close to the canary color and the Degrassi green. It has this strap, which again, I think had in drop one. I assume this strap is to hook this to your gym bag. Um, I love that it had a drawstring. Um, it has Ivy Park just on the side here. And they were super, super comfortable. Uh, not gonna lie, really, really liked these. The box was like a pullout box as well. It kind of felt like a present. So yeah, that was really nice as well. I feel like that was a really nice touch. Um, it's not very often you get trainers in a dust bag. So I feel like that kind of upped the levels a little bit there. I like to have practical trainers, um, 
I wouldn't train in these. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't, but I just thought the super sleek ones are more of like a day-to-day -day kind of trainer or sneaker. Um, so yeah, I think these are really, really, really nice. Who knows, I might keep them, I might not, we'll see. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see if I still have these and if I style them, you shall be the first to know. The next thing I got was the knit cat suit in the canary color. Oh my God, this was so flattering. It, if you've seen the clip of, I feel like it's when Kim Kardashian and Courtney went somewhere and they were wearing that latex thing with the gloves. That's literally how it felt putting this on. It was like pulling it against my skin. I got it in a medium and I feel like it fit well. Maybe I could have gone up a size, maybe I could have, but it is bright, it is bold. If you are a babe that goes to the gym and you, you wanna stand out, this is it. This is it for you. I felt like it was nice. I just wish it was in, again, like not a highlighter yellow. I wish it was in more, I guess that's why I really like the honey color palette, but I wish it was in more of like a darker yellow or like a deeper yellow, because I'm not scared to wear yellow. I just feel like this is like, I'm about to highlight my schoolwork yellow. Cross strap at the back was really nice. The support at the bust was really nice considering that I've got really, really big boobs. I'm a 32F, so yeah, it was like really, really good fit. Lots of support, super comfortable. I would definitely wear this when I'm doing yoga. I have been keeping an eye, so if I find it in the other color, I definitely want to exchange it for the other color. Um, I just feel like it's a bit more subtle and it would look, it would be more up my alley, but love this bodysuit. I think this is really nice. This was again in my top three. Oh, I can't say it was in my top three. Okay, top. this was in my top five. Of course, I paired that bodysuit, that babe of a bodysuit with the huge oversized jacket. I can't even hold it up. I feel like it's a lot to hold up. So in terms of the clip, I think I showed everything. It has drawstrings. It had um, inside pockets, which felt like, a, like, oh my God, like this has been designed fantastically. I just wondered to myself, what season would I wear this in? I'm still keeping this jacket because this jacket is buff, but um, the inside pockets are like, they've got, it's just got so many pockets. It has like a big one on the side. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed it all in the clip. It's got buttons. Um, I just really liked it, it's mesh. I got this in a size small, which is like a 10 and it's still oversized. So you could probably size down two sizes on this if you wanted it to still be oversized, but just a little bit more of a close fit. I would probably wear this with something very skin tight underneath, like the bodysuit, the dress. Um, I've got a few cat suits, so I'd probably wear it with one of those and um, put this jacket on top as like my pop of color. Um, and I like that it's mesh. My style, like I said, is androgynous and very comfortable, but in terms of like my style being quite sexy, I like things that are see-through. I like that whole look, but you can't touch thing. Like I'm not the type of person to have like full boobage out, but I'll show you through a lace top. This um, oversized mesh jacket was right up my alley. Uh, last but not least, I don't know, this might be number one, you know, this one might be number one because this one was definitely my faves. I got the bodysuit with the mesh sleeves. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, fantastical. And in the clip, I'm wearing it without a bra, me. I just told you I'm head huncho and I'm wearing it without a bra, me. <laughs> and the support on the boobs, B did her thing. On this, the material is, like it's warm. It feels very practical. Like I could imagine myself, I don't know if I'd be doing an outside workout, but I feel like I could. Maybe if I was like going for a long walk, like a really long walk, I would wear this. 
with tracksuit bottoms. I feel like you could dress it up with jeans, but you could dress it down with tracksuit bottoms. Um, I like that it's got just little hints of yellow, like everywhere. Um, wish it was a thong back, just because I prefer thong backs, because not every bum is made equal. Some people need thong backs. But I feel like with the jeans, if you wanted to dress it up, it will go really nicely with the green belt. Yeah, loved this bodysuit. Absolutely loved it. Loved the support on it. Loved the sleeves. Love that you could be a bit more conservative and zip it up, or you can be a little bit more sexy, zip it down. Um, and just, yeah, just generally loved it. Feel like there was a lot of room in it as well. I got this in a medium and it fit me really, really well. And it hid my fupa because I told you I'm on the thick side right now, so I have a fupa. And I feel like the bodysuit and the catsuit both did well to hide my fupa. Even the shorts, I feel like they all did really, really well. So yeah, in terms of my overall opinion on this whole collection, I really, really, really liked it. I feel like there's a piece there for everyone. I really, really like the gender neutral stuff as well as the stuff targeted straight towards the women. I would have really loved to have seen the Degrassi tracksuit top. Um, I'll put a clip here in the honey because I really like how it had the buttons that you could pop and then you can make it off the shoulder. Overall, I really, 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 really like this collection. I feel like every single color in here was like perfect. Um, even if some bits weren't for me, I feel like the collection overall, there's something for everyone. Can't believe I spent so much money, but again, if you wanna see how I style a lot of these, you need to follow me on Instagram. I will be posting some photos, of course, once I'm able to go back outside, you can be sure of that. And of course, I post my fitness on there, me in the gym, so if I'm wearing any of these in the gym, you'll be the first ones to see it on my Instagram. Otherwise, stay fierce, stay real, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.